There are eight carpal bones of the hand. They can easily be remembered with a mnemonic. Simply learn the positions that the carpals have. This represents scaphoid, lunate, trichetrum, biciform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. This is the scaphoid. It forms the radial border of the carpal tunnel. It is the largest bone of the proximal row of wrist bones. Fractures of the scaphoid are the most common of the carpal bone injuries. The scaphoid can be slow to heal because of the limited blood circulation to the bone. Fractures of the scaphoid must be recognized and treated quickly, as prompt treatment by immobilization or surgical fixation increases the likelihood of the bone healing and anatomic alignment, thus avoiding malunion or nonunion. Delays may compromise healing. Failure of the fracture to heal will lead to post-traumatic osteoarthritis of the carpus. Another condition called scaphalunate instability can occur when the scaphalunate ligament and other surrounding ligaments are disrupted. Also, Pricer disease, or idiopathic avascular necrosis of the scaphoid, is a rare condition where ischemia and necrosis of the scaphoid bone occurs without a previous fracture. This is the lunate. The lunate bone is situated in the center of the proximal row carpal bones, which lie between the ulna and radius and the hand. The lunate is situated between the lateral scaphoid and medial trichetrum. As a proximal carpal bone, the lunate is also involved in movement of T he wrist. The lunate bone is the most frequently dislocated carpal bone. Keenbeck's disease is a disorder of the wrist where there is a vascular necrosis with fragmentation and collapse of the lunate. The Tayson classification is a system of categorizing lunate fractures. This is the trichetrum. It connects with the pisiform, hamate, and lunate. It is the third most commonly fractured carpal bone. This is the pisiform. It is a small sesamoid bone. It forms the ulnar border of the carpal tunnel. It is the last carpal bone to ossify. Unlike the other carpal bones, the pisiform is not involved in movement of the wrist. This is the trapezium. It forms the radial border of the carpal tunnel. It is important in thumb movement. It is susceptible to arthritis at the joint with the metacarpal bone of the thumb, due to overuse. This is the trapezoid. It is the smallest bone in the distal row of carpal bones that give structure to the palm of the hand. Isolated fractures of the trapezoid are rare, thus being the least common of all carpal fractures. This is the capitate. A capitate bone is the largest of the carpal bones. This is the hamate. It is readily distinguishable by its red shape and a hook-like process called a hamulus projecting from its palmar surface. The hamate bone is the bone most commonly fractured when a golfer hits the ground hard with a golf club on the downswing or a hockey player hits the ice with a slap shot. The fracture is usually a hairline fracture, commonly missed on normal x-rays. The hook of hamate is particularly prone to fracture-related complications such as non-union due to its tenuous blood supply. It is also a common injury in baseball players. Several professional baseball players have had the bone removed during the course of their careers. This condition has been called Wilson's wrist. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.